A pair of skint dealers ran two county lines drugs networks out of the same bedsit. Tomas Araya, age 23, and Nathaniel Temiskin, 21, from Birmingham, peddled cocaine and heroin to the Meeks line throughout the city, as well as the Pablo line into Stratford-upon-Avon, using runners to deliver them. They shifted drugs for a four-month period. Both men were said to have been brought to the UK in difficult circumstances before falling into dealing. Birmingham Crown Court heard, Araya of Rogers Road, Warden denied two counts of being concerned in the supply of Class A substances but was found. Police surrounded their accommodation and found various paraphernalia, scales, cling film, customer notes and the two drugs lines themselves, as well as weapons, a machete and zombie knife. He stated the Pablo line appeared to have four runners while there was no specific number attached to the Meeks line. Although Araya was able to make deals in Birmingham whilst he was in Derby with the phone on him, Mr. Blackman told the court Araya was higher up the scale having been in possession of the drugs lines and the customer notes in his flat. He later claimed he was simply running a gold tooth business which was exposed as a cover story. Temiskin was described as a right-hand lieutenant who fronted more of the risk by storing drugs in his room but was significantly more involved than just a runner. Indy Bamra, defending Araya, stated he escaped from his native Eritrea under gunfire aged eight and lived in a concentration camp near Libya before arriving in Leeds, where he went on to obtain a degree in psychology and set up a business. He said, These two young men were living in a bedsit. Their bank accounts were analyzed and there were no large amounts of money going in. They were basically living in each other's rooms. There were letters from Mr. Araya suggesting he was in debt to local agencies. He wasn't living a lavish lifestyle on drugs money, he himself said he didn't have enough credit for his own mobile phone. Joseph Keating, for Temiskin, stated he ended up in care after he also came to the country at a young age when his father gained asylum on political grounds. The barrister continued saying his temporary identification documents were withdrawn and he lost his job due to the COVID-19 pandemic, leaving him to pay off family debts with benefits. Mr. Keating added, he was often spending the majority of the day in his room in a homo and ended up getting desperate as a result of other people saying within the home about an easy way to make money. He decided to get involved in this offending. It was intended to be a short-term way to pay for solicitors, get citizenship, get an identification card, and get employment. Passing sentence, Judge Roderick Henderson said, you are both still young men and have not been in trouble before. You both have real potential and have had a difficult background. I hope they get rehabilitated and come out to do positive things. Subscribe for more updates. Peace.